Hey guys, it's Meg and I'm back today with another Walt Disney World <laughs> merchandise haul video. So if you have been following me here on my channel or on my Instagram account, you will know I just got back last week from Walt Disney World. I was there from November 6th to November 13th. I think it was the Saturday to a Saturday of last week that I was in Walt Disney World with my parents. We had an amazing time. We were doing all the Christmassy things. I went to the Mickey's Very Merriest After Hours party. By the time you're seeing this, that vlog has already gone live. So be sure to go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it already. That was such a fun evening. So yeah, we just had an amazing trip. This is my first time being back to the parks with my parents since finding out my news about my move and everything. So we really we're just like celebrating the entire time. It was a very, very special trip. So with that in mind, um, I did not buy that much merchandise this trip like I typically do on trips past. And the reason for that being, I really was thinking about the fact that I am about to live there, I'm about to be a Disney cast member, and you do get a cast member discount. So with that in mind, I was mainly buying things that were like a must have. And then I also have some items here that actually my mom bought for herself, my parents treated themselves to. So I kind of have that in, as well that I'm gonna show off in this video. But okay, let me dive into showing you guys what I got. Okay, so the first thing, if you would have seen when I went to the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary, my trip that I had like end of September, beginning of October last month, I was there for the actual 50, like the start of the 50th anniversary celebration on October 1st. And the big item that I wanted to get that trip was the soap dispenser. And I said in my haul video from that trip, I'll link that if you wanna go ahead and check that video out of everything I got at the 50th anniversary, I really wanted to get this right here. This is the 50th anniversary soap dispenser. On that trip, I mentioned, I was like, I always, every time I saw it, we were like just starting our park day and I didn't wanna have to like carry this around all day. So I never ended up picking it up. And so that was why this trip, this was like a priority that I had to go ahead and grab one of these. You can see here, it actually has all the characters on the bottle, but the big reason that I got it is, you notice at the very top here, this is actually a Mickey head. And when you pump the soap into the palm of your hand, it makes a Mickey, which I think is just so adorable. These first premiered in, I believe, Disneyland Tokyo, and they were like such a huge hit. And so they brought them to the US parks for the 50th anniversary. And this was something that both myself and my parents knew that we had to have. These are with like the way a lot of the 50th merchandise is, it's limit to um, per person, per customer. So my parents ended up buying two. They got that for our house here. And then I treated myself to one that I'm going to keep in the box and take back down to Florida with me for my apartment. And I could have probably waited till I got there because they do seem like they're restocking some of the 50th merch, but Everything with the 50th anniversary merchandise is very like iffy because it is so popular and it seems like it sells out like instantaneously. So I was like, you know, this is small enough that I can pack it with me when I move. I wanna make sure that I have it now in case they don't bring it back for some reason. So I got the 50th anniversary soap dispenser and I'm so excited about it. Also, can we just appreciate how cute the characters look on it? They're all wearing their 50th attire and we have Figment and Orange Bird who are my two favorite little guys. So I was very happy with this. Okay, so next up, I wanna show you guys something this is actually my mom's I'm wearing it right now for this video but this is something that my mom treated herself to and I want it as well I'm probably gonna buy it next time I am there once again like I said this trip I kept thinking like is my discount gonna be like a lot more than annual pass as a cast member so I was kind of like resisting buying stuff which I think was smart on my behalf but yeah I'm kind of jealous of this now um, my mom got this ring and this is a Disney Parks brand ring and it is gorgeous it's in rose gold has the Mickey head right there it is so so pretty so yeah that was something that she bought and then she also got to match kind of here this necklace and this was this one still has the price on it this was $19.99 so for Disney Parks prices I feel like that is a really good price and me and my mom both once again, this is Disney Parks branded, the Disney Parks collection jewelry. And we both have a lot of items from the Disney Parks branded jewelry and it is all really good quality. I've always been very impressed with it. It doesn't seem to tarnish over time and everything. It is definitely a good 
quality you know jewelry piece so my mom got this Minnie Mouse headband ears these kind of remind me of the earrings that I wear I get a lot of questions about these that I have um, these are Rebecca hook I absolutely love these I wear these a lot in my vlog so yeah I always get questions about what these are and I still have seen them in the parks and they also have them in silver as well which I may end up purchasing because yeah these are like my favorite earrings of all time I wear these a lot so yes this necklace I may have to consider this as well because it does match very perfectly to my studs that I love to wear so the next thing that we have here this is actually if you remember from my haul video that I referenced that I had from my trip last month to Walt Disney World when I was there over the 50th anniversary I treated myself to um, something similar to this you see we have these little Disney hair ties here with the little Mickey heads on it I bought myself the barrette clip I wore the rose gold ones for the actual 50th anniversary I'll have to put a picture of my outfit from that day I felt like it matched my like I was trying to channel you know the 50th iridescence and everything I feel like that barrette like that I had in my hair that day really like matched what I was going for with my outfit and then on this trip that I was on I was wearing those little Mickey barrettes often in my hair I absolutely love them and so then we spotted these which are kind of similar to those barrettes that I got I'm pretty sure these came out in like the same collection these were $9.99 my mom got these for herself and I have a feeling we'll probably kind of split them up and share them here because they give you six in a pack and I just think they're so cute so it's these hair ties and then they have two little Mickeys on them as well it's so perfect for like accessorizing your outfit and you can whatever color scheme you want if you have rose gold silver and gold these are very very cute and 10 bucks for something like this at the Disney parks I feel like is a pretty good price so that had to come home with us so now this isn't something that I purchased well technically it is because I paid to go to the Mickey's very merriest or Disney's very merriest I'm sorry after hours event and so yes you pay a pretty penny to get into that event but then once you're in there the freebie obviously is the map and I love just collecting things like this I have like a whole shoe box which I need to try to figure out a cute way to like display like a lot of the little Disney memorabilia things like this that I like to keep just because I think it's cool to like have to look back on the different special events that I've gone to at Disney and just even like the park maps that's something that living in Florida I really want to start like I think it'd be cool to document like my entire just life of living there like pretty much like start from the moment I move down and collect every single park map because they always like every couple months Disney will like refresh the park maps that they have for the parks and I think it'd be cool to like document and like every time they put out a new map like get that and save it I've tried to do that on my trips and I always end up like forgetting a couple of the parks and so I feel like my collection is very like spotty but I would like to like make that a priority like living there and then kind of display them in some way I think that would be like really cool but yeah anyway so I love little things like this just to remember the different special events that I've gone to and the different times of the year that I've been to Disney and then I also have the wristband that I saved as well because that's how I am I like to have all these little cute like scrapbooky things I really do need to start like a proper like scrapbook or way to display all my Disney memorabilia so I can actually look at it and not just have it in a shoe box so if you have any ideas for that let me know. I would love to hear if you guys are into that type of thing as well. Okay, now back here in my bag. So these are the last two items that I got. Cause like I said, I really did not get, I restrained myself this trip. Trust me, there was a lot of things that I like wanted to buy, but I, I was good. I didn't like go crazy, crazy this trip. But these were two things that I saw and I just absolutely had to have. So you guys know I love um, Uniqlo in Disney Springs. Uniqlo, Uniqlo, I don't ever know the official way to say it. Let me know how you say it. But um, that shop I love in Disney Springs. Me and my parents all, we love Uniqlo. We go in there often on our trips. We like to see what they have new. They always have Disney branded things for a very reasonable price and it's good quality merchandise. So yeah, we're big fans of that store in Disney Springs. And this trip, I have to say, I don't know if it's still just like everything seems like it's really weird right now with shipments and stores not being fully stocked. We definitely noticed like there was nothing like really that new with the Disney collection that they have there at Uniqlo. Like they really didn't have 
that many items. But that being said, I still did treat myself to two t-shirts because, let me show you. This first one, this, I actually have this in black. It's like black with the Florida design is blue. And I got this a couple years ago and I remember when they created these um, Florida Mickey shirts at Uniqlo, I wanted to always get this one, the white that it has the orange lettering because I'm like, that just is so perfect. Florida, Florida orange, like it just felt like it really fit well. And I remember when I got the black one that I have, they were sold out at the time of this one and I didn't know if they were ever gonna bring it back. Sure enough, when we were there this time around, this was the only shirt, and it was in extra small. This was the only shirt that they had in this design. They did not have any more, they didn't have any other sizes, and it was just thrown randomly on top of a pile of like other random Disney shirts. And I was like, okay, I think I need to buy this. And my mom even looked at me and she was like, you've been wanting to get that one for a while. And yeah, like this is, the only one that they had. So in case they don't ever restock this one, I think I got like the very last one that they had there. And I'm very glad that I did because it's just so perfect. And I am gonna be a Floridian now officially. So anything that is like branded to Florida is like right up my alley right now. So I had to go ahead and get that. And then in that spirit of like seeing that a lot of the shirts that they had there seemed like they were not being restocked. And I don't know if they're gonna bring back like certain designs that they have in their collection at Uniqlo. I have to get this shirt because this has been around for a while and I don't want it to sell out because it's very perfect. <laughs> this is the Mickey Painter shirt. Fun fact about me, I actually used to take oil painting classes and I love to paint, I love to draw. I've always been like a artistic type person and it's something I wanna get like back into and kind of take more time to do is to um, enjoy like creating art again. So I've always loved um, this painter Mickey ever since they came out with it. And I actually said this would be the most perfect t-shirt to wear to the Festival of the Arts, which is my favorite Epcot festival. And the festival that I've actually been to the least even though it is my favorite festival of all time at Epcot, I always say that. And it is actually going to be when I move to Florida this coming January, the Festival of the Arts is going to be just starting. And so it's going to be like the first Epcot festival that I get to experience living there as a Floridian and taking advantage of like my first Epcot festival as a local. So with that in mind, I was looking at this shirt and I was like, I'm gonna need this, like, cause it's just so perfect for Festival of the Arts. And I was like, yeah, I could wait and I could get it in January, but I'm like, what if it's sold out by then? I really do want it. So I like asked my mom too, I was like, cause I was already in line to get this one, to get the Florida one. And she was like, yeah, just get it now. You're gonna regret if it goes away. And I'm glad that I did because now I'll be able to take it down with me and I'll be all set for my very first Epcot Festival as a Floridian, the Festival of the Arts. All right, so that was everything that I got. Like I said, this wasn't like a huge merch haul, but um, I'm really happy with the couple little items that we picked up. And I know as soon as I live there, I'm going to be buying a lot more stuff. So there's gonna be a lot more hauls coming very soon. Please go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, leave me some comments down below, all those things. Like I always say, your likes, your comments, your subscription, it goes such a far way in helping to support me and support the channel. So thank you so much for taking the time to do all of that and with that make today magical happy holidays and I will see you soon in my next video bye guys